2018 BMW M6 Grand Coupe Review. For a perfect mix of style, performance and practicality, the M6 Grand Coupe is amongst the best. Like the M5 on what it's mechanically based, the 2018 BMW M6 Grand Coupe contains the full M division treatment, at the very least compared to your standard 6 Series Grand Coupe. That includes an immensely powerful turbocharged V8 with 560 horsepower, or perhaps optional 600 horsepower, a substitute suspension, stronger brakes and plentiful luxury. You will also get four doors, making the Grand Coupe a perhaps more pragmatic choice versus the M6 Coupe or convertible. Although it says he will be a five-passenger car, it truly is, technically, a fanciful given its tidy rear seat room and middle seat hump. The M6 Grand Coupe utilizes a family of four years old, a couple of with minimal luggage needs, or perhaps a single loaner by incorporating good friends. In stock form, the M6 Grand Coupe is stunningly fast to get to car of that size and weight. Add the competition package and carbon ceramic brakes this is cranked up a lot more, with excessive power and stopping ability. A raft of creative options, from five-wheel designs, heated rear seats, Contemporary driver aids, interior trim, obviously any good manual transmission, present an impressive volume of personalization. The price for many this, naturally, is price. The M6 Grand Coupe commands a tremendous premium than the M5, by way of example, though both cars perform it on the same level. The M5 even offers better backseat and trunk space. But for that best blend of style, performance and practicality, the M6 Grand Coupe is probably the best on the highway. What's new? For 2018, the M6 Grand Coupe is essentially unchanged. A more comprehensive overhaul is anticipated the coming year. With one trim level, the M6 Grand Coupe is definitely an exercise in options dependent on priorities. Maximum comfort within the daily commute or long run? check the box with the executive package, which adds a heated controls and rear seats, ventilated front seats, rear and side blinds, plus an exquisite audio system. Adrenaline Junkie? Click the competition package, which adds 40 horsepower, 600 horsepower total, enhanced steering and suspension performance, and also a choice of wheels. Want to be cautious wonderful that power? The driving assistance package adds now common safety aids for instance blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning. Us? We just pick the most popular color, black, always black, and drive off together with the factory features. It's that good. Trim levels and features. The 2018 BMW M6 Grand Coupe is often a five passenger high-performance luxury sedan for sale in a single trim level. It is distinguishable visually business 6 Series Grand Coupes with sporty elements like a carbon fiber roof, unique front and back fascias, quad tail pipes, along with a range of other equipment. Standard features begin with a turbocharged 4.4-litre V8 engine, 560 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque, paired into a 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission. They also include 20-inch wheels, adaptive suspension dampers, a limited slip differential, automatic adaptive LED headlights, LED fog lights and taillights, back and front parking sensors, automatic wipers, automatic soft close doors, power folding and heated auto dimming mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, 4-zone automatic climate control, power front seats, with heating and memory settings, leather upholstery, extended leather trim, and electrical adjustable controls carbon fiber accents and split rear folding seat backs. Also standard are Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, driver adjustable settings, BMW's iDrive interface, using a 10.2 inch display, online services, including news and weather, smartphone app integration, a rear view camera, voice controls, a navigation system, wireless device charging, a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as a 16-speaker Harman Kardon surround a sound stereo audio with HD radio, satellite radio and USB iPod integration. 
The M6 Grand Coupe's executive package adds a heated controls, a head-up display, sold separately, an energy rear sunshag, power rear side shutters, ventilated, fatigue-reducing active front seats, heated rear seats along with a 16-speaker bang and all offers and head unit. The driver assistance plus package comes with a lane departure warning system, blind spot monitoring, a surround view camera system, and also a forward collision warning system with pedestrian detection, as you move the parking assistance package add side and top view parking cameras. For more power, or if you have in mind taking your M6 Grand Coupe on the track, you can obtain the competition package that increases engine chance to 600 horsepower and 516 pounds to feet of torque. You go for lighter weight alloy wheels, revised tuning for that suspension, steering and rear differential, retuned stability control that can offer a higher threshold for intervention from the M dynamic mode, as well as a black chrome finish to the tailpipes. The M drivers package has one full day of high performance drivers training at the BMW Performance Center and also a higher top speed limit, 190 miles per hour. Standalone options feature an alternative 20-inch wheel design in silver or black, carbon ceramic brakes, a synthetic suede headliner, Apple CarPlay compatibility as well as an infrared night vision system with pedestrian detection. A conventional 6-speed manual transmission can also be a no-cost option. Driving The M6 Grand Coupe resembles other 6-series cars, though the massive V8 thrust reveals it as a true M car. It's easy to drive at low speeds maybe in rocket ship mode, nevertheless it's bulk and heft feel homeless on narrow, winding roads. Acceleration BMW claims 0 to 60 mph acceleration in 4.1 seconds while using automatic transmission. We've tested a M6 convertible and effectively verified that number, achieving 60 mph within a blazing 4.2 seconds. Braking in our testing, the M6 convertible slowed from 60 to 0 miles per hour in 108 feet, a really good result for the 4,495 pound car. Handling In our test on the M6 convertible, our driver noted which the car has real ability but offers so little steering and suspension feedback that it must be difficult to get and drive the vehicle at its boundaries. Bulk and mass also hinder the M6's capability to handle being a precision instrument. Drivability With adjustable drive settings, an adaptive suspension plus an optional manual transmission, the M6 is evenly suited to your daily commute or even a full speed romp. But there's no skirting the M6's mass, so Agility uses a backseat to insane, and Xla, straight line acceleration. Comfort the adaptive suspension, adjustable steering and throttle settings, excellent seats and luxury interior appointments make for the car that may be supremely comfortable in spite of road surface. The back seat is very large enough for just two adults, but headroom has limitations. Interior Compared to some 5 Series, the M6 includes a more driver-centric and trendy design. The dash joins gracefully using a large center console for the wraparound feel. We like the intuitive controls and excellent materials quality. But the coupe-like roof line makes entry and exit tougher for rear passengers. Utility With just 12 cubic feet of trunk space, the M6 Grand Coupe isn't a particularly useful car, unless much of your use is simply driving blazingly fast. The split Fold down rear seat and center pass through ease longer, bulkier objects. Technology BMW's iDrive sets the bar for imitators rolling around in its wake, and for good reason. The controls, specifically when paired with all the 10.2 inch display, are typically accessible and easily navigable while driving. New additions for 2018 include onboard Wi Fi connection and wireless device charging. Audio and navigation The navigation system together with the 10.2 inch display comes standard. Outstanding power and clarity with either the Harman Kardon or even the Bang & Olufsen and and head unit. Smartphone integration 
A cellular phone connection enables use of connected drive services with the display screen, Google search, route planning, travel and news information, among other conveniences. Apple CarPlay is optional, but no Android Auto yet. Driver aids Standard aids include parking sensors, adaptive cruise control and headlights, plus a rear view camera. More desirable features, front collision, lane departure, blind spot warnings, side and top view cameras, night vision with pedestrian detection, are within option packages.